Hey. Simpsons rule. This is the most accurate of the approximations because it's the one that uses curves. The other ones, to some degree, just connect straight lines at various points. But by the nature of Simpson's rule, named after Thomas Simpson, uh, we are able to get the most accurate of the approximations while still avoiding any sort of calculus integral calculation. I kind of feel like I need to show something there, but I'm just going to let it be for there. N minus 2. I'm running out of room. Look at this. 4, y minus 1, plus yn. The structure of Simpson's rule says that you still have to evaluate the heights of the functions at various points. And we're going to, once again, singleton calculate the beginning and the end of the whole expression. But the way that we divide up the inside of this space uh, tells us we need to oscillate one uh, from 4 to 2 to 4 to 2 to 4 to 2 to 4 of all of the inside y values. And uh, there's a structure behind it related like a parabola. In action, there's two things I probably should show with Simpson's rule. In action, let's try it with this one. Let's say from 0 to 2 of 5x to the fourth dx. So that function itself is, is you know, it's, a, it's an even function. It looks like part of a parabola. It's got a, uh, a rate of change of 20x to the third. The graph of the function looks something let me get this out of the way. We're going to have a bell ring here in a second. That would have been cool if it did. Uh, and the function looks something like this. Okay, So from 0 to 2. Now what I notice is I want to have uh, 4. So I've divided 1 half, 0, 1 half, 1, 1 and 1 half, and 2 for my interval here, and so I need to figure out what all of these y values are. Man, those are not in a straight line. Oh well. So then the y value that matches uh, y sub 0 equals 0, y sub 1 equals 5 times 1 half to the fourth power. 5 times 1 half to the fourth power, which what is that, 16? 5 over 16? You need to know that for the next one up. So that would be y sub 2 equals 5 times 1 to the fourth power. We need to know that for y to the 1 half. That's the third number, the third, 0, 1, 2, 3. And that would be um, 5 times 1.5 to the fourth. If you know 1.5 times 1.5, oh, another way to write that would be 3 over 2. That way I could have 5 times 81 divided by 16. 5 times 81 is 405 divided by 16. And then I have the fourth number. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That would be this value right here. So y to the fourth equals 5 times 2 to the fourth, or in other words, 80. Now, I take all of those numbers, and I just put them into Simpson's formula. H, remind you, h is the distance of each of the intervals, so h is 1 half. So Simpson's says 1 half divided by 3. I'm trying to be cognizant of my camera and cognizant of my screen, so thank you. Multiplied by the singleton, y0, plus 4 times y1. 5 over 16, plus 2 times the next one up, so that's 2 times 5, plus 4, it goes 4 to 4, in this case it's 405 over 16, plus the singleton, 80. No multiplication on the ends. So that means I can really just kind of rewrite this as uh, 1 sixth, 1 sixth times 5 over 4, plus 10, plus 405 over 4, plus 80. 
Now, uh, I'm going to say from this point on, the rest of it is just a calculation that you need to do. But um, I do want to show you in another video at some point how to use a spreadsheet. And I hope to use the spreadsheet that we've been building for the other approximation methods. Thanks for watching this video. See what's next.